International Atomic Time from the French name Temps Atomique International is a high-precision atomic coordinate time standard based on the notional passage of proper time on Earth's geoid. It is the principal realization of terrestrial time with a fixed offset of epoch. It is also the basis for Coordinated Universal Time UTC, which is used for civil timekeeping all over the Earth's surface. As of 31 December 2016, when another leap second was added, TIE is exactly 37 seconds ahead of UTC. The 37 seconds results from the initial difference of 10 seconds at the start of 1972, plus 27 leap seconds in UTC since 1972. TIE may be reported using traditional means of specifying days, carried over from non-uniform time standards based on the rotation of the Earth. Specifically, both Julian dates and the Gregorian calendar are used. TIE in this form was synchronized with Universal Time at the beginning of 1958, and the two have drifted apart ever since, due to the changing motion of the Earth. Operation TIE is a weighted average of the time kept by over 400 atomic clocks in over 50 national laboratories worldwide. The majority of the clocks involved are cesium clocks. The International System of Units (SI) definition of the second is based on cesium. The clocks are compared using GPS signals and two-way satellite time and frequency transfer. Due to the signal averaging TIE is an order of magnitude more stable than its best constituent clock. The participating institutions each broadcast, in real time, a frequency signal with timecodes, which is their estimate of TIE. Time codes are usually published in the form of UTC, which differs from TIE by a well-known integer number of seconds. These time scales are denoted in the form UTC NPL in the UTC form, where NPL in this case identifies the National Physical Laboratory, UK. The TIE form may be denoted TIE NPL. The latter is not to be confused with TA NPL, which denotes an independent atomic time scale, not synchronized to TAI or to anything else. The clocks at different institutions are regularly compared against each other. The International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM, France, combines these measurements to retrospectively calculate the weighted average that forms the most stable time scale possible. This combined time scale is published monthly in circular T and is the canonical TAI. This time scale is expressed in the form of tables of differences UTC minus UTC K equivalent to TIE minus TIE K for each participating institution K. The same circular also gives tables of TIE minus TA K for the various unsynchronized atomic time scales. Errors in publication may be corrected by issuing a revision of the faulty circular T or by errata in a subsequent circular T. Aside from this, once published in circular T, the TIE scale is not revised. In hindsight it is possible to discover errors in TIE, and to make better estimates of the true proper time scale. Since the published circulars are definitive, better estimates do not create another version of TIE, it is instead considered to be creating a better realization of terrestrial time TT. History Early atomic time scales consisted of quartz clocks with frequencies calibrated by a single atomic clock. The atomic clocks were not operated continuously. Atomic timekeeping services started experimentally in 1955 using the first cesium atomic clock at the National Physical Laboratory, UK (NPL). It was used as a basis for calibrating the quartz clocks at the Royal Greenwich Observatory and to establish a time scale called Greenwich Atomic Ga. The United States Naval Observatory began the A.1 scale on 13 September 1956, using an Atomicron commercial atomic clock, followed by the NBSA scale at the National Bureau of Standards, Boulder, Colorado on 9 October 1957. The International Time Bureau BIH began a time scale, TM or AM, in July 1955, using both local cesium clocks and comparisons to distant clocks using the phase of VLF radio signals. The BIH scale, A.1, and NBSA were defined by an epoch at the beginning of 1958 the procedures used by the BIH evolved, and the name for the time scale changed, A3, in 1963 and, Ta BIH, in 1969, the SI second was defined in terms of the cesium atom in 1967. 
From 1971 to 1975 the General Conference on Weights and Measures and the International Committee for Weights and Measures made a series of decisions which designated the BIPM time scale International Atomic Time In the 1970s, it became clear that the clocks participating in TIE were ticking at different rates due to gravitational time dilation, and the combined TIE scale therefore corresponded to an average of the altitudes of the various clocks. Starting from Julian date 2,443,144.5, the 1st of January 1977, 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds, corrections were applied to the output of all participating clocks so that time would correspond to proper time at mean sea level, the geoid. Because the clocks were on average well above sea level, this meant that time slowed down by about one part in a trillion. The former uncorrected time scale continues to be published, under the name EEL, a shell atomique libre, meaning free atomic scale. The instant that the gravitational correction started to be applied serves as the epoch for barycentric coordinate time, TCB, geocentric coordinate time, TCG, and terrestrial time, TT, which represent three fundamental time scales in the Solar System. All three of these time scales were defined to read JD 2443144.5003725, the 1st of January 1977, 0 hours 0 minutes and 32 seconds.184, exactly at that instant. Tai was henceforth a realization of TT, with the equation TT tie equals tie plus 32.184 s the continued existence of tie was questioned in a 2007 letter from the BIPM to the ITUR which stated in the case of a redefinition of UTC without leap seconds the CCTF would consider discussing the possibility of suppressing tie as it would remain parallel to the continuous UTC equals <laughs> topic relation to UTC Equals UTC is a discontinuous i.e. regularly adjusted by leap seconds time scale composed from segments that are linear transformations of atomic time. From its beginning in 1961 through December 1971 the adjustments were made regularly in fractional leap seconds so that UTC approximated UT2, afterwards these adjustments were made only in whole seconds to approximate UT1. This was a compromise arrangement in order to enable a publicly broadcast time scale. The post-1971 more linear transformation of the BIH's atomic time meant that the time scale would be more stable and easier to synchronize internationally. The fact that it continues to approximate UT1 means that tasks such as navigation which require a source of universal time continue to be well served by the public broadcast of UTC. <laughs> Notes <laughs>